Y'all, look how big this doghouse is. Like, I'm like five, seven, and I can like comfortably sit in here. It's just my buns. He has a little lamp right here and his little plant. Welcome to my channel. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. This is something that is completely different from what I normally post and most of y'all follow me and are subscribed to me because of my hair content. But after the feedback that I got from posting this on TikTok and on Instagram, I thought that a lot of people would be interested in seeing the process of me putting together this doghouse. Everybody was super excited and like super into the actual house, but I wanted to show y'all the three hour process it took me to put this house together. So the dog house came from a brand that is located in Turkey. Everything is handmade. It is called WLO Wood. Now, when I ordered this, I thought everything was gonna be like pretty much put together like most things that you order, but as you can see, it's not. It did come packaged really nicely. So that was the bed coming out of the vacuum sealed packaging. And all of this right here is what is going to make up the doghouse. So I was completely taken aback when I opened this because I've never been one to like put together something from scratch. Usually it's just like already like where you just have to like screw some things in, it's, you know, like not usually a big deal. So it came with a QR code to take a picture of to get the instructions. So if you see me like looking at my phone throughout the video, I was referring to the instructions, instructions several times. So this is just everything in unbox and me just like laying everything out. So those are the doors for the front and back, which are like a cool clear acrylic. Um, that bundle of sticks looks like the Big Bad Wolf came and blew something down. And I can't believe I got myself into it at this point but it was very rewarding and you'll be able to see that at the end but this is just me mapping everything out you know putting the pieces together as instructed it was a little confusing because the pieces weren't labeled like with stickers how most things are so I really was just like referring to the pictures the directions were really great though as far as the reference like to pictures and showing you like where things go so that was great to have the size that i got in the dog house is the large there's actually two sizes that are bigger than this which is insane to me because this dog house is literally huge but there are two bigger sizes i do not remember the exact price that i paid for it but i know it was like 431 ish dollars or something like that i remember seeing that on the receipt and you can find them on instagram or you can find them on etsy if this is something that you want to get for your dog so if you are a person that's into building stuff this probably would not take you near as long but as y'all know my back is like constantly hurting as well as like my left hand not being like fully mobile so it did take me a lot longer than okay waves y'all see my hair oh i didn't know it looked that good back there but oh wow my hair looks really good so At this point I had to step back and look at what I was doing because like I said this really was looking like a huge bundle of sticks and these little things I don't know what they're called but it comes with like every piece of furniture that I buy some type of wrench thing I'm sure but like those things like I feel like I need something with like a bigger handle on it my hands are like constantly slipping off of those things so now at this point I had to figure out how to put on the name plate and it kept on going around and around and around and around and I still don't know if it's on right but I'm not a pro or an expert um but the house is still standing so I'm guessing I did something right you know I 
ask for directions though like imagine if we got things in the mail like without directions on them it would probably be like one of the hardest things have y'all ever built something and like completely messed up the project from either like neglecting to read the directions or like let me know in the comments if you've ever built something by hand or like with directions and completely like butchered it and had to start over um or if you've ever built anything and had a whole bunch of screws left over because for some reason every time i i be building things i have like buku screws left over which i know isn't supposed to happen because i know these companies are not just sending extra screws but sometimes i just can't figure out where they go so now this was the part that tripped me up the most like i could not understand how to get these like circular dial type things to stay on because every time I would screw them in they would literally come out on the other side and at this moment when I stood up the doghouse I realized it was way bigger than I thought it was gonna be and it's gonna take up more space than I thought it would for this little bitty puppy but he basically has a mansion at this point um he has not earned privileges um, to this house yet because he is still peeing all over my floor and is still not grateful for the life that he's been afforded. So once he, you know, is going to be more grateful, then I'll let him get inside the house. But at this point, he's not inside the house. So my mom FaceTimed me. She be talking forever. So... That pretty much like killed my time during this, um, just like being on the phone talking. So if you're going to get into these dog houses, put you on a movie or something while you're doing it, because it really does take a minute. So I had to basically take off the nameplate, take out the dial and go back and read the instructions because it really was like an act of Congress to get this together. So here I am again with these dolls trying to get it again, but y'all, I'm just really looking at my hair right now. Like it really does look good. I know somebody is going to ask for a tutorial on this messy bun, but it's really no tutorial. It's just kind of like a thing that happens. I don't know why that little piece of hair is hanging out too, but it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. So as far as the construction of the doghouse, um, the wood and the quality, quality is next level. Like it was next level. Like it was worth every single penny. It was worth the wait of getting it to come to me. Apparently their shipping is usually a lot faster than I got mine, but I did customize a lot of the options on mine. So you don't have to get the acrylic doors for the front and the back. You can leave it open um, and then the back will come with like a sheet type of thing. So you can save like almost $200 by not getting the doors, I believe. Um, but because of that, the, the custom construction, it did take longer for me to get it. Um, it still didn't take that long, um, considering the fact that it's coming from Turkey. It did take like over a month to get to me, close to two months, I believe. Um, I could be exaggerating though because I was waiting on it. Um, I was definitely waiting on it. But as far as the construction of it, um, as far as 
the quality this is like some really good wood lol um this is like i it's definitely something that i can see him transitioning into over time this uh like this white sheet thing is what you would use for the back of it if you didn't get the doors um i put it on there and then put then was like planning to put the doors on it again and as you'll like see later i ended up like cutting this off which now it has like no purpose i actually had to like throw that piece away because once i cut it off you can't put it back on and i couldn't just take it off because i'd have to unscrew like the entire back of the doghouse to take it off and i wasn't about to do that because at this point i was tired my back was hurting and my puppy was just sitting there staring at me as I'm slaving over making this doghouse for him. So I was kind of getting a little agitated with that because, you know, he wasn't trying to help or anything. If you want something that is going to like not be an eyesore in your house, like the regular like wire crate kennel things, I would definitely recommend something from WLO Wood. They have a lot of different options, different shapes, different configurations, different colors. Uh, so I'll link it below so y'all can find that and also follow them on Instagram. But some of y'all might not care about having like a fancy dog house. I just didn't want something that was going to like disturb the aesthetic of my apartment. Like I wanted something that was going to, that I was going to be comfortable with like having people come over and like see it and I didn't feel like you know it was disrupting anything now this gate that's right here absolutely disrupting the feng shui of my apartment um all of my floor pillows as you can see are back there and they're stacked up because he just feels like those are like puppy pads and he can just pee on those um I also had to pick up my huge area rug because the first day I got him he decided that that was the perfect playground for him to poop on my rug. So once he gets, like I said, trained more, then he will get access to this doghouse. But for right now, he has like the regular like ugly wire kennel. And he also has this like little fence thing to give him, you know, some little recreational room, but also not give him access. For his little house, I have to put the front doors on, but... I'm tired and my back hurts, so I don't think that's gonna happen right now. But for now, look how cute he is. He's gonna love it. Oh and um, you can see right here where I was talking about that back panel. That's what it would look like if you decided not to get the doors. Now, I did have it on there at first, and I was just like, wait, you're not gonna see the back door if I have this thing on. But I don't know if you can like see on the handles where those red ribbons are. It's almost like, like a scrunchie, like a hair tie that holds it together but it runs through like the entire lining of it so in order to get it off i had to cut it off now this is me again i don't know why i keep on saying this is me clearly it's me the, the whole voiceover thing is still new and kind of weird to me but i didn't want to talk like for three hours in the video but this is me clearly putting the doors on incorrectly so I sat there and each of these like hinges has three screws. So this is me, you know, I'm just trying to figure it out, trying to see where things are going. And yeah, I realized that on the other side, I put them on backwards. I started to leave it like that, but I decided, you know, to just take it off and do the right thing. The hinges are supposed to be facing outwards so that the inside of the house has like a very like clean aesthetic and you don't see any hinges. But I'm, I'm not Bob the Builder. Bobiana the Builder maybe, but I'm not Bob the Builder. So we had some struggles, but ultimately we got it done. And They go so thank y'all for making it this far this is the last step i just had to put on like the little sheet thing to 
be like the roof and the siding of the house. So that's all the way on. And are you ready for the grand reveal of the house? Because I am, it's so cute. It's literally adorable, a house inside of a house. I'm obsessed with it and it looks so good. If you are interested, like I said, everything is going to be linked below with pricing details and the configuration that I got. Let me know if you plan to check it out and thanks for tuning in. Bye. What's up MTV and welcome to my crib. It's big. It's nice. Sliding doors. You know what's up. Nice lamp. Nice.